take, I think. Ginger, we know, we saw Nikki a little bit in the trailer. Can you talk a little bit about who she is and how her, what is her friendship like with Jennifer Walters? Yes, well on social media I still maintain that I play Baby Groot's sister. Yes, Woo! whether or not that's true or not. Um, but uh, yeah, I love Nikki and I love her especially because she's the kind of a ride or die friend for Jen. And uh, I love seeing like uh, female friends who really, really love each other and that's kind of like their love language. And Nikki likes to get into a lot of like, good trouble and encourage a lot of, uh, <laughs> I don't know, risk taking, I think, on, uh, for, uh, for Jen and for She Hulk. So it's great. Jamila, Titania is coming! Woo! Hello, She. What makes her tick? Ooh, what makes Titania tick? I would say. Take one, Bassett. Jealousy. No, no take and one. A no, desperate take one. need for attention, which obviously I've no experience. I had to really pull from somewhere. Um, but yeah, she's extremely annoying, and I, I drew that from myself, so you're welcome. Yeah, the one thing Marvel is known for are their cameos, their surprises, and their films and their shows. Is that something we can expect? Absolutely. <laughs> um, we have some amazing cameos. I think you know some of them. We've got Mark Ruffalo as Smart Hole. We've got Tim, woo, Tim Roth as the Abomination. We've got woo, Wong as Wong. Um, and you know, it, it, taking taking this show, bringing it into life, was really about living up to the Marvel bar, creating something cinematic, funny, action packed. And of course, filled with cameos. I won't say any more because I don't want to get in trouble. I'll let Kevin take that one. We're all afraid. <laughs> For Jessica, we've seen some great exploration of genre and tones, especially in the Marvel shows on Disney Plus. Um, how and this was touched on a little bit, but how does She Hulk? How does it set itself apart from other shows we've seen? Well, I think this is Marvel's first true half-hour TV comedy. Would you agree, Kevin? I would agree. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we're in agreement. Great. Um, it's just really fun to uh, especially take kind of uh, the existing special guest characters that we can't talk about and really let them kind of explore a different aspect of their characters, especially characters that we've seen in like very dramatic roles and the very serious kind of movies. We get to like let them have fun. It's, it's just really, really great. Anu, as, my, as I continue my quest to try to get everybody in trouble, who would you like to see Jen team up with or go toe-to-toe -to -toe with? The members of the Game Force. Yeah. See that? That would be very fun. Tatiana, should I stop getting everybody in trouble? I love this. <laughs> Did you bring anything for us today? Oh, yeah. Do you guys want to show you something? This is a new trailer. This is a new trailer. A brand new final trailer for She Hulk Attorney of Law. This team has done such an amazing job this. Thank you guys. Thanks for coming out here. Thanks so much. This is a very, very special show. A very amazing show. Thank you. Let's give it up, Chi Hulk, everybody. So Chi Hulk looks fun, funny, lighthearted. As Jessica said, and I don't know how many of you know Jessica Gash, she wrote on Rick and Morty. Anybody familiar with Pickle Rick? This show is irreverent and fun, which the MCU does very well. The other thing the MCU can do very well is make a, a tonal shift into something darker, something gritty, political conspiracy thrillers, which brings us to our next series for Disney Plus, which is Secret Invasion. Oh. 